Hi viewers. I just activated like Larry and high voltage goals have been quite busy with ZVS drivers again so I thought I'll build another one. Um, the MOSFETs are IRFP 260s standard convention, conventional Mozilla circuit. I use RU uh, 3 diodes instead of the UF 4007s because I got those on order. Um, couldn't find them. Uh, just uh, oscillating circuit, capacitor, inductor doesn't really matter. Get it out of an old TV or power supply and just a standard uh, uh, device here, the LOPT. This is the other side of the breadboard. Just uh, try to keep it as tidy as possible. So, yeah. I'm going to give this uh, device a test. Power source is just a uh, 24 volt battery basically and uh, connect it up uh, to the ZVS driver and just ATV flyback transformer. A handy thing I've found is uh, I've made up a simple on off indicator. Basically two turns extra over the uh, ferrite and um, yeah, one kilo ohm resistor and a blocking diode and then the standard LED. Here we go. Um, off. So it gives you straight away an optical indication that the ZVS is oscillating. Let's see if she uh, goes. Yeah, there we go. the difference in intensity on the LED when the arc is struck or not. I find that the single capacitor usually get warm after a while so I find it better to have like uh, I've got a cluster here of uh, eight capacitors one kilovolt weighted and uh, they don't get warm. The negative electrodes seem to be a lot hotter than the positive. You can melt copper with it quite easy. Deenergized device. Discharge. Here's a quick test one. That's a rear protection TV device. Some seem to be more aggressive than the other ones. This is still 24 volts. I like the crackle. Oscillation stopped something. Ah, uh, there it is. Got a poor connection somewhere. Also like the stops again, yeah. I'm sure I've got an uh, also an on-off indicator on this device here. Oh, come out does it pick it up? Oh, there it is. Gone off, I got a poor connection somewhere. 
loose connection, it's not good. The capacitor is very odd. Yeah, I'm gonna put the other capacitor on. I'll put some extra capacitor 376 by the 470. It gives me over 800 nano on the oscillator circuit in the TV module. Rear protection TV, and it seems to give a bit better arcs. Oh, there it is. Let's uh, see what happens. A device is energized. More capacitors give definitely more better arcs. A lot more heat. Frequency during an arc is about 36 kilohertz, and an arc is stopped, drops down to 22 kilohertz. And this is, uh, is about 4376 nano. I'll put the other cap in. Stand by. Now we've got about 800 nano in uh, free running and oscillating at about, say, 40 kHz. So, yeah. When the arc is longer, the frequency drops. The arc is shorter, it increases. That makes sense, I guess. To measure the frequency, the meter needs to be on AC and just in parallel with the condensers. 